I had to give my daughter a chance at a future, which meant I had to break the law. Felicity Huffman opening up about why she felt she had to break the law for her daughter, Sophia Macy. The actress speaking out for the first time about participating in the college admission scandal in an exclusive interview with KABC. I know hindsight is 2020, but it felt like I would be a bad mother if I didn't do it. So I did it. Back in 2017, Felicity paid $15,000 for someone to falsify Sophia's SAT results, keeping the whole thing a secret even from her daughter. She was going, can we get ice cream afterwards? Scared about the test, what, what can we do that's fun? And I kept thinking, turn around, just turn around. And to my uh, undying shame, I didn't. Rick Singer, former college admissions consultant, was the mastermind behind what became known as Operation Varsity Blues, who Felicity says worked with her for some time before revealing his scheme. After a year, he started to say, your daughter's not going to get into any of the colleges that she wants to. And um, I believed him. And so when he slowly started to present the criminal scheme, it seemed like, and I know this seems crazy at the time, that that was my only option to give my daughter a future. As we all know, he tried to convince a lot of people about a number of falsehoods. And if you look at all of the conversations that these people had with Singer uh, before uh, the recorded conversation, it seems to demonstrate that they knew that what they were doing was engaging in a bribe. The Desperate Housewives star also recalls the FBI showing up to her door just months later. They came into my home. Um, they woke my daughters up. At gunpoint, again, nothing new to the black and brown community. Um, then they put my hands behind my back and um, handcuffed me, and I asked if I could get dressed. And I thought it was a hoax. I literally turned to the one of the FBI people in a flak jacket and a gun, and I went, "Is this a is this a joke?" Felicity pleaded guilty to federal charges in 2019, serving 11 days in prison, paying a $30,000 fine, and performing community service. Felicity Huffman pleaded guilty and accepted whatever punishment came her way. Now, when it comes to taking a plea, lawyers can beg, plead, and, and suggest they take it, but that's one of the few things that defendants have uh, the absolute right to, and no lawyer can tell them otherwise. I think the people I owe a debt and an apology to is the academic community and to the students and the families that sacrifice and work really hard to get to where they're going legitimately. I want to use my experience and what I've gone through um, and the pain uh, to bring something good. Back in 2021, a source told ET, Felicity's continued on with her volunteer work, despite her community service hours ending a year prior. One of which is called A New Way of Life, a nonprofit that helps formerly incarcerated women get back on their feet. It's an organization she's still a part of today. I thought we would bring her in and, you know, put her at a desk and, have her work, you know, in the office. And she said, no, I want to do real work. Felicity Huffman is one of the most beautiful people I've met in my lifetime. And I know that she's had a hiccup, but it's not the hiccup, it's how you come through the hiccup. Meanwhile, ET's source added that Felicity's life went back to normal, both her daughters thriving in college. Quote, she did the walk in the right way, accepted responsibility, and rehabilitated her career and reputation.